To cut to the chase, I will tell you that um, I'm a professional visual effects artist. This is, you know, I make fake stuff like this all day. Um, I really couldn't tell that some of it was fake and some of it was real until I looked at it very closely. And having looked at it very closely, I can say pretty confidently that at least some of these videos are fake. Good evening folks and welcome to Alien Addict. Yes, we are on that subject again. It's not because I've got no content for you. I'm just a little bit intrigued by it and I think it, we need to kind of get to the bottom of this dirty little bastard which is called Skinny Bob. Before I go any further with that, uh, yes, I've got some glasses on again. I'm not going to explain myself for that. Watch the last video. You might understand why. Uh, because I think I look like Maverick with a beard. Um, I just want to say a massive thank you to the brand new Patreon to the channel, Wes Burkle. Wes, thank you very much. Um, I always draw a picture based on what whatever the, uh, the Patreon's profile picture looks like if it's something alien ufo related it wasn't so i asked him what you're into he said he's into you know ufos ghosts anything paranormal a lot less monster so i went with a ufo searching for nessie so there you go welcome to the patreon page and uh, if anybody else fancies jumping on board i will draw you a picture anyway over to this little ship bag Skinny Bob. Now, for anybody who's been subscribed for a while now, you remember I did a video a few months ago where I showed the channel Abomination. He did the really good 3D render of the gimbal footage. This same channel, he's gone and done a deep dive onto the Skinny Bob footage. I didn't realize it, but he is actually a proper visual effects artist. And he said that this video could have cost between 50 to 100K to make all those videos all together back in 2011. I didn't realize that, he, I thought if you know what you're doing when it comes to effects, it would be a pretty cheap job. You could just get it done, you know. You might have some bits and bobs lying about at home, some paper mache, some silicon. Let's knock up an alien. Let's uh, put some CGI over uh, some practical effects. There we go, Bob's your uncle. Well, he's not, he's your alien. Um, but no, it's expensive, guys. Very expensive. Now, this channel is the Ivan Zero 135, whatever it's called, hasn't made a single penny off this video, as I know, at all. So, why do it in the first place? Is it some sort of project? Is it something that's supposed to be coming out in the future? Why? Why is it there? That is that is what I've always asked myself. Why is it there? But th that's not all, guys. Because deep within this Skinny Bob video, there is a little segment of footage that Abomination has looked at and said, this doesn't match with the rest of it. Now, he's broken down this video really well. Uh, I'm not going to... Yeah, he's broken down the video really well. Now, I'm not going to show his breakdown of it because I want you to go over and watch it because I think when I did the video back when I showed the gimbal footage that he did the 3D render of, some of you guys may have gone over and subscribed to his channel but not given him the view on the original video that he did the hard work on. So, this time round... I'm going to leave that for you guys to go. It is in the description below, so head on over there after this video. The deep dive that he's done is incredible because he's kind of broken it down into bits. And there is one bit of this Skinny Bob video. And I have to say this is the same bit that I've always scratched my head with and thought, there is something different about that, but I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to visual effects. You know, the, the closest I get to visual effects is used in a, dabbling with a bit of green screen. That's about it. But this part of the video, Abomination says, doesn't go with the rest of it. 
the, this piece looks genuine. What you're seeing now could, and I'm saying could, possibly be an alien being. Now, you've never heard those words come out of my mouth before, that this could actually be a genuine extraterrestrial. But it could. And hear me out here before you uh, unsubscribe. Because I know there's a, a lot of people on this channel that are very sceptical, me including. But there's a reason why we are interested in these sort of UFO channels and alien channels and what have you. And we, we like watching the documentaries and we're, we're interested in the subject. Because we believe in it, but if somebody gives us something that could possibly be real, we're very quick to say, no, that's not real. There's no way that's real. It's almost like we don't believe in it, you know. We don't believe in UFOs. We don't believe in aliens. Or if they're here, there is no evidence that we've, we've ever seen them. But what if there is? What if this is actually, for some reason, somebody's just thought, you know what, I'm going to give them something real here. And in they've mixed, for some reason, they've mixed it in with a hoax. I'd be interested to see UFO of interest thoughts on this. Um... He's a very good debunker. If he could uh, do uh, like a, a deep dive onto this little bit of footage and tell us if this is this tape looks genuine or not. I mean, this is a visual effects artist, and he's and he's saying that this this little section he cannot it doesn't match the rest of the footage. That it is completely different. He, he says the skin looks different. Everything looks different about this this alien. Not to mention that how it's been filmed looks completely different to the rest of the skinny Bob footage. And I, I've, all, I've always been really interested by the skinny Bob because it's just the question of, like I said before, why? Why do it in the first place? Why bring this to our attention when you're not gaining out of it. This guy has not gained, Ivan has not gained anything from doing this. And this skinny Bob, I don't think's real. For a start, he can't fit that jumper over his head uh, unless it's Velcro, and we all know aliens made Velcro. Um, but you know, for some reason, maybe there is a little bit of hidden. Something beneath the lie, you know? What if? What if this that we're seeing is the genuine autopsy of an extraterrestrial grey alien? Whether this is real or not, I don't know. I'm, pro I'm probably more inclined to say it isn't real. Um, but it, there is that chance that it could be. But I think we need to like kind of look maybe deeper into things. Sometimes maybe there is something like just hidden in the hay, you know. Maybe maybe there's something that's just some hidden gems out there that we don't know about that may be hidden within the bullshit. Maybe we've got to sift out some of the bullshit to get to the, some of the real stuff. It's interesting. But it, this video that uh, Abomination put out has me intrigued. Uh, and I would be really interested to see your comments below on what you think about this. Head on over to Abomination's channel, have a chat with him. Um, I'm, I'm sure that he will get back to you on what his actual thoughts are on it. He may, may have had second thoughts on it. I don't know. But um, you guys... Um, you guys are what make make these UFO channels. You know, th these UFO channels will be nothing without you. And when you comment on, on, on our videos, when you, when you share our work out there, that's a hint, by the way. Um, you know, this is what grows this community. And one day, one of us will find, you know, we'll strike gold. We will. At... I have no doubt about it. And if we won't, if we if if we can't strike gold, that's that means, you know, there is no aliens. We're not being visited. But we all know we are. We all know, we all know that you know the Starlink up there is really an invasion that's about to happen. 
Look, that's what some people are saying. That, that Elon Musk is just a cover-up. Starlink's an actual... It's, it's aliens. Some crazy bastards out there. There really is. Um, guys, let me know what you think to this. I know there's some visual effects artists that are subscribed to this channel. You know, if if any of you want to come on for an interview, uh, Abomination, it'd be great to get you on the channel uh, and have a chat about this um, and some of the work that you're doing with the gimbal footage and what have you. I would like to see some more of that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It, could it be real? UFO of interest, please make that video. Do a... I, I did ask UFO of interest the other day. I said, can you send me five pieces of UFO footage that you think could possibly be real? His answer to that is no. <laughs> but I, the guy's a skeptic. I, I'm sure he does believe in this subject and that is why he spends so much time debunking it. I think that's why I used to debunk in the first place. It's because I got kind of pissed off with all the, the bullshit that was out there that was spoiling it for everybody else. But, you know, I've always thought there is something about this Skinny Bob video. Maybe this is what it was. Maybe this is why I did the original Skinny Bob video that I did. Um, because it was always going to lead to this. You know, I'm, I'm a great believer that everything happens for a reason. And that's probably why I came across Abomination's channel. Maybe this is the hidden gem. So, guys, do your work. Get this shared out. Have a chat with the community. Get things. Get get the ball rolling on this. Let's do. Let's get some work done. Let's send this out to some people that you might be able to get that can break this down properly. That can put some filters over it. That can try and back engineer it, I don't know, to see if this thing is uh, just a very, very well done hoax. Um, I think I'm, we're all pretty sure now, uh, most of us are sure, that the actual skinny bob in the big jumper is fake. Uh, definitely the ones that are laid down in the crash are fake. They look like Thunderbird dolls. Um, but, yeah, do, do, do some work. For your fellow YouTubers. And get this shared out guys. Guys subscribe to the channel. Hit that like. Uh, I'm Alien Addict. I have a Patreon page. If you want to support the channel. It means that the absolute world to me. You know it's the only way to grow. This is a business. Because YouTube revenue is not. Um, it's, it's not amazing. You know I can't even maintain these dolls. Um, but yeah. I'm Alien Addict. Like, share, and subscribe. Good night. God bless. Mind the bugs. Don't bite. Au revoir.